Hello there, World of Tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Adrudals Blitz, and in today's video, we are back on my free-to-play account. Now, while I have not made a video on the free-to-play account in a while, and I haven't really been playing on it, one thing I have been doing is getting my free gold ads every single day. I now have accumulated 7,800 gold over the past, I think it's two months, just by logging in every day or so, watching my gold ads, and logging back into my other account. It's pretty dang easy to do, and we're going to be spending that gold in today's video on the M6 experimental, or at least that's what I think. There's a couple good options here. We've got the Lance and C, which I actually really, really think is a fun vehicle, and I'm kind of tempted to get the Lance and over the M6. The M6 is a better bundle. It comes with the tank, it comes fully equipped, it gets times five boosters and everything like that, but you know what? I... I kind of want to get, yeah, I'm going to do the Lanson. Even though it's expensive, it's not really expensive, but it is more expensive than the M6. I personally really like the Lanson. I like the way the gun works. I like the alpha. The mobility is nice. So I entered this video wanting to get the M6, but I kind of just think the Lanson is going to be more fun, especially because I already have a tier 8 heavy. In fact, two tier 8 heavies being the IS-5 and WZ-111, where I don't have nearly as many tier 8 medium premiums, which are super fun. I mean, the CDC is okay, and Nebraska is really solid, but I kind of like this tank as it's a nice middle ground. So let's claim our rank. There you go. And let's equip this vehicle. I'm going to give it, obviously, uh, I'm going to do Cali. I just feel like calibrated is a much more important thing when it comes to having alpha v range as usual what do we have here we've got minus 20 percent damage to ramming yeah i usually like the ramming aiming time hit points then we're gonna do engine accelerator v stabs we're gonna do toolbox and finishing off with consumable delivery system that is our lance and fully equipped there we got some camouflage options we can put on this vehicle i'm obviously not gonna put the moose on it because a i don't have enough gold and b uh i i don't have enough gold so <laughs> two very simple reasons why this bunny cam actually looks pretty nice on the tank i don't see any other cameras we could do boom fetty but i'm not going to waste my certificate on it I'm not going to waste this one either uh i don't have many others we do have the sparkling one and we got the christmas one we got another really ugly christmas one but i actually like the lanson so i'm thinking i'm going to put a camel on that actually looks sick so yeah we're going to do we're going to do the bunny camo. I actually really like this one a lot, so I think it'll fit the tank pretty dang well. There you have it. All right, that's actually a pretty good look to the Lancet already. I'm uh, I'm quite happy. Let's go to provisions, do food, food, and fuel, and then we're going to make our way to consumables, put on our repair kit, and there you have it. Our Lancet is fully equipped. All we have to do, before I forget, is go to ammo, and boom, 10 rounds of ammunition for my APCR, and then we're going to give myself as well 10 rounds of high explosive. So there you have it. My Lanson is fully equipped, and I'm quite excited to try it out. Now, this is something that I am... I'm happy to explain, as once again, a lot of people always act like getting premiums on a free-to-play account is impossible. But before we actually load into battle, I've got a lot of premiums on this account. I've got a fair amount. If we take a look, I've got the Brask, VK90, T22 Medium, 121B, K91 IS5, WZ111, CDC, Lance and C, Super... Oh, I misclicked off game one sec. Uh, Super Hellcat, Kunza Panzer, CS52 Lease, Loza Sherman, Brett Panther, Excelsior, and the goaded MS1, all for free just by playing this game on my free-to-play account. For example, there's an event going on right now where I can get 100 gold boosters. And I, by the way, still haven't even gone through all my gold boosters from the previous event. But I can get 100 gold boosters in the current event going on right now if I just play the game, which is pretty easy to do. I just need to play the game, maybe a couple games every day, and uh, by the time I finish the event, I should get an extra 100 gold boosters, which is about... 1500 gold for free plus somebody told me that you can get 5000 gold with this event as well if you exchange one of the major things you get with it so i'll be keeping my eye open to that event you know what i've moved uh recently or not recently but within the past five months or so i've obviously moved homes and my ping is a heck of a lot better uh where i've moved now it's only 130 ping it used to be like 190 to 200 so i'm actually quite happy about that playing on the eu server is going to be a lot better now, apparently, I thought everybody said chat was removed on EU. Oh, we got shot. What the? Okay, well, I guess the whole team's over here already. I'm the only one here, I've just noticed. That's why nobody's been spotted. Well, that's not good at all. That's actually awful. Okay. Uh, well, I've already lost half my health to the Brask, which was my fault. I will admit to that. I 
kind of expected to spot somebody crossing, but I never did, and all of my team is camping and spawned, so... Oh well, not much I can really do about that. We got the SU-152 off to the side. We're going to aim it on him, and a bonk! There you go, easy slap into his tank. We did get spotted by the Barask, but that's not the end of the world. We're going to reload here and see if we can get one slap into the Barask. If he does end up YOLOing me, I'm not too worried, although I guess he can just do that and pen me as it is, but oh well. Uh, we got one pen in at least, I'll take that. Let's reload again. Three, two, one, and come on Barask, show me your little hatch. Come on. Yes, just like that. Thank you. The Lance and Turret is actually kind of troll, so you will bounce it occasionally, which allows this tank to get away with some sneaky shenanigans. Let's aim at an HE on the side. Oh yeah, 414 slap. Oh, well, you're not enjoying life all too much now, are ya? There you go. Nice bounce from the T-43. I'm just hoping that I'm causing enough of a distraction for my team that... Oh! That they're actually going to uh, be able to farm off of me here. My T-25 AT has decided to drive out in the open, though. This is a great example of where I really enjoy the, the Lanson. I mean, as I said, the tank is not the best. But the gun is solid, it's got alpha, and the best thing about it is that it's got accuracy. Which you can see me working here. 0 0.308 dispersion for 320 damage per shot is pretty dang impressive when you think about it. All right, well, let's see. The problem is I don't have enough health to take a double shot from the brass. I have enough to take a single shot, but not double, which is obviously something I need to be very, very cautious about. So I'm going to keep an eye on that guy. I do have teammates covering me, but that's not good there. That's incredibly bad, actually. All right, well, my teammates are shooting the IS-6, which is good, and I'm going to try and get a slap in myself. There you go. Nice 260 damage slap into the IS-6 once. And IS-6 did clear my teammate, but that allows me to get another shell into his vehicle. There you go. Nice 345 slap, and he's dead. Okay, not too bad so far. Uh, we're up to 2,800 damage dealt at this point. And once again, i got to be careful, but I'm going to try and see if I can suss out the Barask. This is really the main challenger over here. Hello? I don't see him over here as of now. Okay, well, that's definitely the major opponent that I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for. We got the Tiger P, who just got undetected the moment we could have shot him, but again, I'm re Oh, the Brask is dead! Never mind. I thought... Never mind. Somebody must have killed the Brask when I wasn't paying attention. All right. Well, if that's the case, we get a nice slap. Look at that. Beautiful shell into the Tiger P. Again, this gun is so dang nice. People underestimate the gun on this vehicle. It is really, really good. And this is why I personally wanted the tank over the M6 Experimental. It's just such a much better gun than the M6. What? Oh, yeah, it's a great gun, says Droodle. Proceeds to miss the flat side of a Tiger P. Not even miss, just bounce the flat side of a Tiger P. Well, the good news is we're just going to reload and get a nice slap into his tank. Even though he did pen me, doesn't matter all too much as he's not going to kill me and we're still alive. So let's just chill back here. We've dealt 3,500 damage at this point, which is pretty solid. And all that's left is the SU-152 and the AT-15. AT is going to be killed by, it looks like, our shark who is full health. And with that, all I need to do is find this SU-152. Now that's easier said than, well, maybe not. I was going to say that's easier said than done, but I, I guess he's right in front of me. So there's one easy shell into the SU. Let's make our way over this ridge and aiming, 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 fire again. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh man, that SU is getting absolutely beamed on. He's got basically no hit points left, but we're going to take those a little bit of 44 hit points into our tally. And there you have it. That was an absolutely amazing battle to showcase why I like the Lanson. Not only did I do a great game in this video on the Lanson, but actually my previous video on the Lanson, when I first got the tank, I set a 7,300 damage battle in it, which is still to this day the highest damage recorded in the Lanson, which is pretty insane. So 4,242 damage dealt. We only assisted 600, which is a bit surprising because I thought I was doing a pretty good job uh, spotting for my team. But you know what? We got four 14,070 experience, because we had a times five, I guess, and made 184,000 credits. So, not too bad if I say so myself. I will definitely take all of those goodies. Although, I guess we did spend quite a few credits upgrading the tank as it is, and we can claim this some boosters. This event here is also great for a free-to-play player. You get a free camo, which is nice, and once you get down to the little basket here, this is where the things get pretty good. You've got a couple different things. Apparently, you can exchange these. I don't really know. You can let me know in the comments if you can exchange those for anything. I'm not really sure if they do anything to 8-Ball of Fortune. But what I can say is 
that if you go down here, just getting these 100 gold boosters is really nice. And after that, you can also get camo containers, which is pretty solid. So not a bad event at all. And it's, uh, how long does it last? I have no clue. Nine days. So pretty long event. All right. Well, let's do one more battle in the Lanson and see if it goes as well as our previous game. I don't think we're going to do 4,000, but I think we'll do fine. Hopefully. Usually within your first 10 battles or so, you're in the honeymoon period, I like to call it, where you're always going to fight lower tiered opponents, which is pretty nice. So that's something that I will say about the Lance and that I appreciate, <laughs> at least for the first couple of games, is that we're not going to be fighting any higher tiered opponents. And here we are, second battle, we have a P44 Pantera, we've got an SU-130PM, a Tiger 2, and that's all they got for tier 8, so not a bad lineup at all. They have for mobility a T43, a Super Hellcat, and a P44, so... They have some deadly tanks, especially because, as you noticed the last battle, this tank doesn't have all too much armor. The best way to describe what this vehicle plays like is the Leo, the tier 7 tech tree medium, just brought up a tier with a much better gun. The armor is exactly the same as the tier 7. I mean, it's HE-able on the sides, you can actually HE some of the spots on the fronts as well, but if you use it correctly, the gun just is so nice. I mean, 320 alpha with, look at that aiming time and dispersion, it's, it's amazing. So, uh, yeah, I'm a person that likes accuracy, I like alpha and when you give me both of them ooh, ooh, i'm in a very very happy mode all right well we got the yo off to the side and if that yo does exactly what he's doing right now bonk there you go 372 slap into the side of his vehicle that right there is a great example of where the alpha feels so dang nice on this tank we got the tiger 2 off to the side and look at that beautiful accuracy i mean i can't believe we even hit that to be honest i'm very very surprised but we did so uh yeah not too bad that tiger is just not showing me the side of his tank. We're so close to seeing it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Another slap into the tiger. We've already dealt 1,000 damage at this point, which is quite a lot. Unfortunately, we have lost a tier 7, but that's not the end of the world. I'm fine with losing a tier 7. It's when we start losing our tier 8s, I'm going to not be so happy. Let's make our way behind the enemy. Now, the Lancet is actually quite mobile, as you can see, going upwards of 50-ish kilometers per hour. Got the Super Hellcat in the back, and we're going to get a big old slap into the rear of his tank. Thank you very much. We got the AT7 back here, who is definitely a threat, but we're just going to back up this way, and bonk! There you go. Nice 350 damage tap into the enemy Pantera. Once again, we are just showcasing where the alpha on the Lancet and everything else feels so dang nice on this tank. Now, what's not going to feel nice is an SU-130PM chasing me, so we're going to leave. The great thing about this tank is it, as I said before, is mobile, so um, I'm going to leave. I don't want to deal with that SU-130, and we've got plenty of mobility to leave, so let's see if I can uh, if I can deal with him. Come on, SU. Drive around the corner. Yes. Yes. There you go. Nice slap into his tank once. I'll take it. We're causing a pretty big distraction as well. Uh, which is good. So that's that's good news. The bad news is that our team appears to be really bad. So yeah, I guess we'll find out what I'm able to do here. The T-43 is driving off to the side and there you go. Easy slap into his tank once. We've got to reload a bit and I'm kind of hoping that this T-43 drives, yes, over the hill, which buys me some more time to get my second shell out. There you go. All right. Well, I can't really say this is going great for me, but I'm going to try and get a bounce. Oh boy, maybe not. The thing about the T-43 is it's got a lot of DPM, and you can see that here. I don't have the most DPM as the Lanson. It is one of the downsides of this tank that you will have to be careful about. But, oh boy, oh, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot, lot. All right, well, let's uh, let's reload, finish off the T-43. Now we got to figure out how we're going to deal with the SU-130. Well, the good news is that, once again, we are mobile enough to outmaneuver him here, which is the only bit of good news, if I'm going to be honest, because the SU-130 SU-130 is a very, very deadly tank, who uh, I've got to be careful about. Let's load in one HE shell, and yes! Thank you! Oh my god, finally, I've gotten a bit of help from my teammate, and with that, the SU-130PM is dead. Hopefully our SU-152 just connects one shell. That's all he needs to do. Just please pen one shell. I doubt it. I, I highly doubt that he's going to, but let's make our way up this hill, right over here, and in this position... We might be able to get a little... Yeah, I kind of figured that was the case. All right, well, not great. Not great news so far. The good news is that we are in cover. Um, so if anybody tries driving, you know, towards me here... Oh, boy. I forgot about that guy. But I'm not going to worry about the AT as of now. I really, out of all the tanks, want to deal with this Pantera first. Because that is definitely the biggest threat. So there you go. One slap into the enemy Pantera. And now we're going to back up. Okay, he did miss me with the one shell, which is good. 
Um, trying to think of how I want to deal with this right now. We got the tiger off to the side. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see. No, no, no. I've got to send this guy. Yes! Okay. Well, I was able to clear the Pantera. The problem is, uh, victory might be short-lived here. We got a Yo now to deal with, who is also a very, very deadly opponent. There you go. One slap into the Yo's turret cheek. Come on. Come on, reload, 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 and... Oh, he's bad. He's he's really bad. Okay. Well, we're still alive, um, somehow, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how we are still alive, but we are, so that's good news. Uh, let's see if we can bait a shell from this tiger. Oh, boy. Now we got the AT over here. Come on. No, I'm stuck! Oh, God, this is not what I want. Alright, let's go for a shell into the AT. There you go. The problem right now is I'm actually stuck on this dead guy's body, which is not very helpful. Alright, well... Let's drive this way and see if we can maybe kite them around some cover. Let's go over here and keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, and bonk. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, well, that's good. That's actually really good. We are, uh, we are still alive. Where is the tiger? That's the question. Where is the tiger? No! Where did that shell go? Oh, it just disappeared into nowhere land. Alright, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit back here, and hopefully I can bait the tiger to come towards me. Come on. I'm gonna give it about 10 seconds or so, so let's see. Five, four, three. Okay, now we're gonna poke it. Yes! Okay, there's one shell into the tiger. Um, let's see how I can deal with this at this point. Alright, and... No! Oh, I can't believe he hit that. I just tried the track and look, he hit that right in the corner. I mean, we did a pretty impressive battle. There wasn't much more I could have done in that situation. We did 5,400 damage and we killed five tanks. Not only that, we pulled out an ace in a loss. So, oh, that's a heartbreak. That is a heartbreak and a half. I mean, we made 240,000 credits and what an incredible game to at least witness. Uh, the only the only thing that really kind of got me a little salty was that shot on that tiger that just completely missed his hatch. Uh, not this one. The one right at the end here. This shell just completely missed his hatch. Now, to be fair, he bounced my turret, uh, which was pretty lucky, but this shell here just... What? What? I don't even know where that went, but oh well. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. As you can see, the Lanson is an absolutely amazing tank. And really, the only problem we had this battle was that that SU-130 got that one shell into us. If he didn't, could have been a very easy win. But, I don't know, a pretty incredible game, everything considered. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.